Hello, Yui Jui. Hi. I do the not so much rambling, so that's pretty much. Sorry, am I putting you off? Yes, you did cut me off then. Okay, carry on. I've lost my place now. You said hello, Yubi Chubi, that's right. <laughs> I put you off after two words and you've lost your place. Yeah, we're after a cracking start here. And I will say we'll edit this out, but we'll No, we won't. won't. No. no, we won't. I always say that and I never do. I'll put a sword in quickly. <laughs> No idea if you get any of that. But I'll try again. Hello, Yubi Chubi. Megabyte Unleashed here, live from Auto Assembly. But specifically in the bar. Well, no, because I don't do live streaming. I'm not that fancy pants. No, we are not. Oh, and hello, this is Desara's Prime. We are working on a collaboration. Yes, and we are reviewing the awesome Generation Drift. And that's all you're seeing from me in this review, like always. Yes, I'm the face he's, guy. He's He'll be the voice man. guy. Yes, I'm the face man. So, where to begin? Right, this is actually we're going back backwards on this. What I do usually you mean go backwards. I usually show from vehicle to robot. I just now go. I just go from whichever mode it's in to begin with. Okay, so we're probably going to wing this quite a lot. Hell yeah. Um, we have been. Well, I have been drinking quite a bit. He has a lovely sword with lots of Japanese symbols and stuff on there. Some nice shit. It's just a shame it's very bendy. Yes, it is. It's like um, Risling back to Prime Sword. Oh, you know, less, it's, it's not less a summer awesome. toy. It's probably summer best for banging a summer toy. You know, they tend to, like, if you leave them out in the heat too long, they tend to go... Oh, I know what you mean. Like family Guy, Herbert's lightsaber. Oh. You just need a Skywalk to come in and perk things back up. <laughs> He's also got these, um, nice... Wrong on so many levels. Tell you uh, and yes, we even have light crowd watching it. Wave, you're on Yubi Jubi. Or you will be. <laughs> there you are. I'm never on YouTube. We also have these rather awesome hidden swords that I didn't know about when I bought it, and I thought it was awesome. I agree. They, they are awesome. They sheath inside his hit pieces. Like that, yes. Uh, and he can eat even be posed drawing them out himself. And these I swords tried that. I might try that here. Just these swords are nice and hard plastic. They're still a bit bendy. Yeah, oh, but I've the, got it the, the wrong way. The, the That's why it's bendy. They're solid enough that you can poke people in the eye and their eye'll go out. <laughs> And like that sword, where you poke someone in the eye and the sword will go out. Uh, so let's just try this. His, his wrist bends like that as well. Yeah. It's like... Yeah. What is your opinion on him? Lovely figure. He is. Let's put the controversy on this character. He's a lovely design. Controversy that I don't share as I absolutely adore him in the comics. That's a bit dodgy. I think it's him. What have you done, what? What have you done to him? Oh, I'm sh I'm sh oh no, the new drift is dodgy. But the yeah. original drift, the way he was created from his creator, that was awesome. Yeah, I think I've messed up on this. What have you done to him? I don't know. What have you... Hang on, put him back on the table. <laughs> I thought that was how you do it. I've only had this guy about an hour. Okay? I've only had him. No, I'm, doing I'm doing the whole unsheathing thing, but I thought it'd be easier to go like that. But you mean basically break his arm like this and transform his arm back to his shoulder? Yes, he is now half transformed to unplug his sword. Right, I'll put his sword back in and we will try this again. So, sword take two. Yes. 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 Why, I man? That would be the most simplest solution. So, sheathing swords. You can't reach across like that unless that's what you're going for. No. No. So. <laughs> So how the hell can he unsheathe them without going like that? Okay, hold the camera. Grab the rear sword. This is going to be interesting because the camera's around the wrist. Yeah, we'll get Tori as well. We'll go, we'll go. Here's a Tori. 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 Tori
That's pretty much what I did, just a little bit higher up. Granted, it looks better, but I had the same concept. Yeah, the concept was right, it was just the execution was done. Yes. I'm just yes. trying to do this without you getting, notice those lovely without getting blood on the, all over your new toy. Uh, That's right. why I'm holding this finger funny. And while we're at it, take a look at those lovely Japanese symbols and the whole Land of the Rising Sun stick going on down this side, which you'll see better in his vehicle mode. And for once, I'm going to try and transform this from robot to vehicle. And that doesn't seem to be working, but something like that. Show us. Yeah, Probably something like that. Quite work. It does. It looks better than what I came up with, which was yes. That. Yes, that was basically transform his car mode and do it like that. But yeah, I'd say um, Megabyte's version wins hands down because his hand is down. Hands down. And mine's up. Yeah. Are you going to take the camera? Again? I shall take this okay. back. So, um, sheathing aside, I'm going to try and... I also like his chest details. His, yes. If you look underneath, in particular, some nice little details in his chest area. Oh, if only this camera could focus. But it, it looks pretty. You can tell by the camera it looks okay. Just like that. Uh, yeah. And then it just pegs in nicely. And you can still see it pretty well under the glass, the plastic plexiglass. Alright, that you can. And it's the little details are like that which make him a pretty sweet little figure. Yes, it is. And his head design is really pretty damn good. It's simple, but it's so effective. If we go to... Um, we'll do the whole points of articulation now, because I, I don't know if you do that. Ah, I, do. I just say he's got the basic stuff and what he's missing. I also don't transform him on screen. Yeah, I do. So, you know, we'll uh, see what we can I'll, do. I'll make an exception just for you. Thank you. His point of articulation, he um, does have fully 360-able wrists, shoulders. Well, he's got fully 360-able wrists fully 360 well. Yes, he has. And yes, he does. Got, so you were right. Um, he's got a nice double joint and elbow. The, the top and the bottom part. Like that. the camera in your face. Yep. So you can do it like that or you can do it like that, depending on how you want it. It's looking very red there. That's my hands, that's my skin tone. Um, Head-wise, it's on a ball joint. No, it's not on a ball joint. It's on some sort of weird thing that's like a ball joint, but it's not. That's really bizarre. But cool. It's innovative. I don't know what they do, but I like it. It gives them the full range, so... Yeah, there is a lot going for this figure. Um, his legs, they could, they're on ball joints, they could go all the way around were it not for his um, little ninja skirt thing that he's got, which is cool. Ninja skirt thing? <laughs> his ninja skirt thing, yes. His sword sheath. Yes, his sword sheath or his ninja skirt. Well, you, you can point his ninja skirt out the back as well. You can. Just like that. Yep. But it still hinders, it still, still hinders the leg movement a touch. It's still, um, I, I like that. I mean, you know, it's, some might call it a necessary eagle, but I think it adds to the effect of it. Yeah, whole, it, it adds to the whole ninja set yeah, that he's does. going for. Um, his knees well, bend not ninja, the, samurai. Yeah, his knees bend at the <laughs> knees. I always say his knees bend at the knees. That's knees just the well, I'm glad thing. his knees do bend at the knees. Not much I'd articulation be his knees bend at the fingers. Um, you can extend them a little bit, but, you know, it's probably best not to bother. And that pretty much wraps up his point of articulation. Now, I'm no waist articulation. No waist. That is the only thing it, wrong with this guy. It, it does hurt a figure like this, as this guy is designed to be an action cozy kind of guy and not having any thingy. Hello. Hello. Trying to get a good shot. No, wait, we're reviewing it. Collaborative video review. You want to be on, on YouTube? YouTube. Here we have another guest star. Hello, my name is Adam Eighty Eight Ten from the Underbase to Moonbase to How Are You Doing? I'm the Shadow and Realm. For out once the Shadow and Realm. The Shadow Realm. Yeah. And we return you to the get previous on. tour review. 
it doesn't matter. So, and so um, I haven't transformed this to vehicle mode yet, but I'm going to give it a go. And this is going to be something worth seeing, because yes. it doesn't have instructions. Yeah, I don't. I, uh, I tend to um, I use instructions once. But like I tried with the whole unseen thing, to um, basically you do that. And then, yes, we've got the first step sorted. Yes, that's basically try my un unseething tactic, and you're halfway there. Yep, yeah, and then. Has anyone else noticed? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You are now going on YouTube and saying that. For a reason. Is that all? Is that all? Is that all? Okay, so... Your man was ready for seconds, come on! <laughs> it's fucking bumblebee! So we drop that down, don't we? And then... Yeah, you lift those up. Like that, they'll sit nicely next to his head. And you push these pieces in. Like... So... Pretty much. Now we're halfway there. <laughs> It's all hands, but we're halfway there. Yeah, it's a bit better once we've got it all together, won't it? Yeah. We yeah. hope. And then uh, you just push the um, ninja skirts up. As I call them. I'll give you a hint. Do the windows. Yes. You need to, um, as he said, very important, push the swords up a bit, pull the side windows out. I completely forgot about them. I was going for the convertible look. That's my defence and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and we were distracting you with rude and foul language. So I apologise for that. Yeah, but seriously, dude, that's just like... It's an awesome picture, it just looks a bit wrong. I have the official one, it's scary. Ooh. So what's to transform me now? Is, is the height, for you personally, is the height over this toy? Does it cloud the toy for you? No. Uh, well, are you able to just view it simply as a toy on its own merits? I, um, I bought it, I heard good reviews about it, and I, um, I, want, I, I went and got it out there, and I was in I'm, I was impressed with it when I first took a look at it, and you know, but then I found out about the swords that you could unsheath, the hidden swords, and that just blew my mind. And not a lot of toys have that ability to just make me think, wow, that is fucking amazing. And that was what this guy did for me. That. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, folks, I guess spectators are still here. Yeah. Right, this is where you're going to have to bear with me, people, because I'm on the feet. Yeah, these feet are rather tricky. Go together by luck. Why, it's not so much luck. Just knowing what the hell you're doing with them. Have I got that right? Yes, I've got that right. Hey. I'm a quick learner. Oh, I've got that. He's pissed. The leader one. Yeah. Yeah, but for you. A Mega Prime. Try and transform one of those. Uh, Energon. Uh, uh, RID. I've got that upstairs. Piece of cake. A Mega Prime, both of them combined together. Yes. I've watched a review once. You've got it. Now okay, we have a challenge here. Next video, a Mega Prime. A Mega Prime is fine. What do you think of him out? You heard it here first, folks. Ultra Magnus is a fiddly little. He is. It's also the fact that he's a case of knowing what goes where and exactly. stuff like that. Isn't that true with everything, though? And, yeah, you know, especially true with the um, R.I.D. fellas. Oh, 
Oh, he's okay, so we've got it in there. And we cross that in like, like so. And I just need to get underneath so I can get into the windows. Yeah, I've got the windows last year. You and, 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 you know, it's starting to resemble a car. Yeah, I've almost got it. He's just currently in stealth force mode. <laughs> Very bad stealth force mode. I don't. That's the thing with those stealth force things. I don't understand how having loads of weapons sticking out the side of you is stealthy. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> right, something's jammed somewhere. Coming up next, a minicom. <laughs> hey, I do love minicoms. And they're okay. easy. It's being sorted then, I'll put it to the table. Um, right. Would you prefer a very, very basic, blocky, simple, almost G1-esque style transformation? And then be assured that you would get a perfect end result every time and everything fit together? Or would you like that they go for something like this and therefore you do have the challenge of having to align and the slightest bit of misengineering would mean a problem? Which would you prefer? I prefer the challenge. I would prefer the challenge as well. It's all good. Not so much I like that. the block. You figure it out. I like to have my figure as I want him to be, so yeah. I go for the challenge. It's too complicated. I like and you couldn't get it into the pose you wanted to and it'd be off balance. Then it just doesn't look good on the shelf. No, the opposite is the ones that are too complicated. They're like masterpiece hot rods hands. They're awful the line up in vehicle mode. You can, I can never get them in the line up, but that's the perfect level of complex for me. So, with this, if it's something as simple as a piece of misengineering, can that could seriously cause the whole thing? Seriously, that, that level of Hasbro's having to sort of balance at the moment. It needs to make things that are complex enough to make fans go, that's good, that's good. I like the way it achieves that. And to give you something stylistic in both forms, it doesn't feel derivative. But at the same time, if there's any engineering bug ups, if you're given a, an old mode that doesn't fit together perfectly and you've got panel lines. A good example is the difference between the two video games. The first one was very complicated. The second one, they've toned it down a lot. The complexity of the transformation? Yes. Mm. I remember that figure looks better as Ultra Magnus than Prime. Hmm. I wouldn't mind the um, fall of Cybertron Ultra Magnus. That does look pretty Mind you, Adam, guess what these we haven't read them I've had to show us in the trade. Huh? No, the these we haven't read them I've had to show in the trade. Come on. I'll be honest, I don't Livio see what I'm talking on it. Pardon? Has Livio got what I'm talking on it? I know, I couldn't get hold of it. I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. <laughs> I haven't even listened to the feedback that I've been doing. I might have missed some of the hands of your playbook. Maybe. Huh? Sounds like the only extra that I've been doing. Maybe. No, but uh, there was some feedback apparently on the coming bits about Chris Metz and Vin Dilly talking about our last review. Yeah. And saying I knew the idea I had about the bombs. Yes, you even tell me you knew about the. Oh, you got it. Was anyway. Yeah, I've not listened to it yet. But that's why I really want to sit down with Livia and just have a good old chat. That was me. all going so well. I will say I've never had that issue with my Can I'm arms? I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but when it's for me. Okay, I've had this issue with Drift myself. Um, it took forever. In the end, I swapped it to somebody who enjoyed the, the figure in robot mode so much that they never turned it back. I mean, it stays in robot mode. I then got a second Drift, which the machining was just a fraction different, and guess what? It fit together perfectly every time. It's almost instinctive in terms of the transformation, but the slightest bit out, and there must be one or two people who are in the same position. It's just not coming together. Doesn't it help as well that we're at a convention, all quite steaming tired. I'm very drunk. 
and he's probably having a hell of a time putting that poor thing together. So people at home, be gentle with him in your comments. Thank you. Uh, now it's a convertible version. It's fucking tracks, man. <laughs> that is an awesome album. I don't know how you got it like that. So. Oh, I saw him from Brum okay. It's not quite my It's... It's the legs that aren't lining up. Right, so... Did you have... I did not get her. I did not get her. Oh, I'm missing something, man. And you like? Because yeah, the way you can tell is if the exhaust is showing properly on the bend at the back. They look like they're showing. This has now become a four-way. Hey. I enjoyed the story in that um, iPhone Independent. Oh, it's the new Japanese version of the picture. I enjoyed them all. That's why I'm finding it so hard to specify which one it was. Oh, and the AA comic. Yeah. I'm thinking of Andy. You're Adam, aren't you? Yeah. 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 I enjoyed his story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell him. I'll tell the Central Drive, Jamie. Give me my drink, at least. Didn't I do the arms right? The arms are great. Okay. I guess not. Christ. Well worth it. I wouldn't do a proper review on this guy until I'd mastered it. Uh, considering that's the first time I've transformed it from bot to vehicle, I don't think I've been too bad to get it to where it was. So what did I do wrong? I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. Yeah. It's not like I've come to one so many times, I can just do it from... So now we have some order in this clusterfuck of a review. <laughs> order in one of my videos, are you mad? One quick edit later. Uh, As I was saying, you've got the nice Land of the Rising Sun type Japanese symbol and the flag thing on the sides. That is true on both. I don't know what it says. It could say drift, it could say generations, it could say chicken chow mein with noodles. I think it's well, something to, to do the racist with bit out there. I think it's something to do with honor or something like that. I don't know. Something spiritual and drifty. It's got a nice spoiler, which is a pain. I um, when I first transformed it to robot mode, I didn't want it to pull apart too much. And true Des P fashion, it goes drum drum rather nicely. <laughs> See, it drives really well. As I discovered in my RC review, my camera does actually follow it. It does, doesn't it? It's clever. Well, that pretty much concludes our Transformers Generations Drift review. He reminds me of a Nissan Skyline. For some reason, this car yes. always reminds me a bit of Turbo from GoBot. <laughs> I don't really, you know, I don't pay attention to GoBots no. and stuff. I have very good to watch some GoBots in the front of the factory, so... It's the whole, the head popping up the bonnet thing.
Go watch the Bobo machine. And that, that's one of the things that impressed me about um, Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe was because so many of them, these car formers, the head popped out the bonnet, but with Sideswipe it came out the boot. Mm. Yeah, I was trying to tone it down a bit. <laughs> oh, I think we're well past that for this. Yeah, one. yeah. He, he talks out his ass. This is going to be the second that, video I'm going to have to put the warning on the front of it. <laughs> but that, that was something I enjoyed about the Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe in a comment that's completely unrelated to what we're talking about here. <laughs> but that was just, you know, one of those unique things that I enjoyed. And I do. They have outdone themselves with Sideswipe a couple of times, I think. Especially the universe. Just something as simple as switching the arms over and giving him the bonnet as the... Um, yeah. Torso instead of the fruit. Simplicity. Yeah. But effect, but it was, yeah. yeah. Simple but effective. Like that point. It was You're a simple way. idea, but you've got so both some stupid and side side about the same role. Yeah. yeah. And then a perfect choice for punch counter punch. Yeah. Yes. I'm assuming it was a general release figure. Mm. That was a bot punch. Hey? Wasn't um. Yeah. Punch counter punch bot punch. He was TFCC. Yeah. Same as my battle charges. That's a shame. So that would have been. That could have took off. Oh, everyone would have bought that. The, um, I mean, not just that. The casual fan, you could have. You could. You know, you had Sunstreaker with the roof torso. You had Sidespot with the bonnet torso. If you had one that had both, like punch counter punch, then. You know, that could have been something special. <laughs> And Absolutely. That's the problem, though, is that it's, it's often a balance between the commerciality and what the fans want. Yeah. But um, you think in that case it was one of the few times when both things actually connected together. Um, then you get the flip side, whereas they, they get the idea of something, they want to do it, but they haven't got the right figure. And that's when you have something like the record set that's been released or announced, which is, you know... Ruination one. Yeah. I just can't I just can't buy Ruination as an Autobot name. But then again, Rex is ain't exactly an Autobot name either. But yeah, with, with the um, Universe Sunstreaker side swap, you've got that's probably the perfect mold to do a modernised punch counter punch. Yeah. But you know we just never saw mass retail and that's a shame because I'd have picked that up. Um, yeah. Right, well, that appears to be a regular one. Yes, yeah. 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 it's a nice little car, definitely worth picking up. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely worth it, I don't regret it one bit. And if anyone has watched all of this, then go get yourself a drink because you've earned it. More power to you. Yeah. Yeah.